In this video, I'm going to show you how to access GUI in your Ubuntu server, which is installed in AWS EC2. I have already launched an EC2 instance based on Ubuntu operating system, and I'm already logged into that EC2 server through PuTTY. And I'm going to install the GUI now. Before we do that, as it's a fresh installation of Ubuntu server, first let's get it updated and then we'll go from there. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. And I will share all the commands in um, video's description. So press Y here and then it should install everything fairly quickly. If during that command you get this screen, just click on this screen and press enter and it should be good. So that's it. So just to recap, all I did was I just ran this app get update and app get, up, app get upgrade. So it updated everything. In the second step, we need to install the desktop, which is XFSCE4. So just run this command and then press Y. And it should install this desktop. Let's wait for it to finish. Our desktop is installed. Next step is let me clear the screen for the next step. The next step is to install the VNC server. VNC stands for virtual network computer, and we need this in order to access the GUI. Again, click here, press enter, and that's done. Now um, we need to configure this VNC server now. The first step in this is to run um, this command type VNC server to start the VNC server and you need to select uh, a good password for this and this is very important so make sure you are using a good password just uh, set no for this we don't need to for view only so that's it um, next step is to configure the XFCE virtual desktop and for that we need to open this command it is in our home directory and it's a hidden file with a dot extension so open it in the vi editor so that is open and uh, first make sure that shebang is here which starts with this hash sign we are good um, next step is that make sure this command uh, this line xrdb is there which is there one command which you need to add in this vnc file is this uh, enter i small i which puts it into the insert mode, go to the end of the file, and then enter and add this command, start xf ce4, skip sign colon wq to save it. That's nice. Now we need to uh, <clears throat> start the VNC server on this display first with colon one. So type VNC server colon one and hit start it. Okay, it says that it is already started, which is good. Now, that is all we need to do in order to configure the VNC server. Now, our Ubuntu server is ready to be accessed from our um, VNC client. Now, you, you um, so what we are looking to do is to access this Ubuntu server GUI through our um, laptop. In order to access it, we need to have a VNC client. So if you don't have a VNC client already installed, you need to go to this website and download from there. Let me show you the website. So you need to go to tightvnc.com and from there you can download this for your Windows. I have 64-bit Windows, so just right click on it and then save link as and it will save the binary of this client on your machine. Just click next, next, next and it will install the VNC client. Uh, once that's installed on your local machine, open that uh, client and then we'll access our Ubuntu server from there and let me show you how. Let me open the VNC client. Once I opened my VNC client, it gave me this screen. Here, you need to give the IP of your VNC, uh, your Ubuntu server, which is this, and then colon and whatever the display is. Normally it is one, so I have just given it one here. And this is the one where you have started um, your vnc server and let me go back and show you what i'm talking about so if you go here if you remember this is the colon one which we have already given it in our browser okay so let me go back and click on connect here and this should take you 
to your GUI. Let me click here. It is asking me password. This is the same password which we had set earlier. So let me provide the password. Click OK. And that should open your GUI. So that's it. There you go. Now you can access whatever you want here. You can um, go to applications and then from your applications you can open your terminal like this one and then you can run through various commands to see what is happening. So that's it guys. This is how you install GUI on your Ubuntu server in EC2 in AWS and then access it from your laptop. I will put all the commands which I have used in my blog and I will share the link to that blog in video's description. If you have liked the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.